Welcome and good afternoon. We're here at the 2018 Nashua North Invitational set at Nashua South in Mines Falls, of course, used for Meta Champions. Today's lineup appears to include BG, Concord, Londonderry, West, Merrimack, Broughton, Dunstable, and South. I might be leaving somebody out. It's a long view from here. Some of the races keep your eyes on today. Um, as you might be able to see down there in the pink, that's uh, Caroline Fisher. Um, I'm guessing BG's electing to run this race without her as she doesn't seem to be suited up. But you got Morgan Orcott from Concord. You've got the Robitaille sisters. And Julia and Corinne that should be out towards the front and Callie Coffin from South so we should be in for a good race it's overcast right now it appears to be sort of like threatening rain but <clears throat> none in the forecast and it's a good thing that the Sun's not out because it's probably about 70 degrees out here and the humidity is pretty up there if it is pop out we'll probably see a rise in 10 degrees and that'll make some for difficult racing conditions as far as i can tell in parts of the course that i've been on it's in really pretty good shape considering all the rain that we've had it doesn't look to be too soft or muddy anywhere uh, and in the earlier races most of the people have been coming away clean so i don't think there's that much mud out on the back part in mines falls should be about five minutes away from the start See everybody getting their runouts. Bob Giardi, um, obviously one of the best starters. Have you seen him starting all over the place, um, over time and things like that? Sorry about that. He looks to be moving up to the front from the back of the line. Kind of like where that car is, the end of that yellow fence. Yeah, yeah. Last year's winner was Julia Robitaille. I don't remember exactly the time, but she's broken 18 on this course. Uh, I'm not sure that the conditions, or this early in the season, actually allow for that. But uh, we'll see. So Bob's down there. He's telling them all the starting instructions, backing them up. <laughs> Looks like we're moments away. Course records here is obviously uh, Jackie Gons beat a champions run last year. And uh, I don't think we'll be approaching that at this point. Bob's raised his hand, he's moving to the starting area. We're going to be up and going here pretty quick. Earmuffs on, flag in hand, the gun's up, you're ready to race, and they're off. to the front and Callie Coffin. They come up the first hill. There we go, varsity race underway. And as we expected, out to the front. Huh? Yeah, they're coming right at you, Out to the front, we've got uh, Callie Coffin taking it out, actually. Followed closely by Julia Robitaille. Two girls from Groton Dunstable. Corinne Robitaille right there. Cole Gurton. Hey, 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 
Couple from Salem. Front Merrimack girls going through from South, North. Salem is one that I would have left out. Couldn't see them from the start line. I don't know if I mentioned Alvern, but they're all here. And they're certainly racing. The race is on. Large conquered contingent just rolling through there. Hollis Brookline. And south. All right, Callie Coffin alone out in front right now. Nice job, nice job. At this point, she seems to have about 40 meters. Julia. Julia's clear of the field as well. We're looking at 60 meters back to her sister Corinne. A couple of Groton Dunstable girls pulled from Girton. Move up in their pack now, go! Of Concord. <laughs> Another second Concord girl, Morgan Nolan Memorial. A couple of Salem girls coming through. I think that's the third BG girl. A couple more North. Two Concords coming through. Alvin. Got you Dunstable. It appears that there's only uh, the Robitaille sisters running for West. I haven't seen any other West runners. That's got to be at least the fifth runner from Concord, if not more. Rotten Dunstable must be maxed out because there's four. We've already seen a number go through. More BG girls. Three from Merrimack coming through. More south. Maybe the first half of Brookline girls we see coming through. More Hollis Brookline. More South Salem. Here's the lead cart. Callie Coffin. Out front in a tremendous lead, it appears. Callie Coffin with no one in sight, actually, at the moment. Seemingly has at least a 100 meter advantage over anybody else. And coming up to the bridge. Looking across the canal right now is we've got Julia, who also seems to be well out in front. Watch it! She's being shadowed by her sister who's back about 60 meters. Julia really certainly looks under control, but she is certainly being pushed. Pushed, I mean, huge gap. Here comes Corinne. Paul. First North runner. One of two Groton Dunstable in a row. And coming on the bridge now. We've got coming right down right now, Morgan or Concord. And here comes the lead car. We're at 16.45 on the clock and coming up over the tops, Callie Coffin.
of Nashua South. Laying down a fantastic time here. This is... Nashua, right through Nashua. Yeah. Might be your house, but not going to race. Then wait here to move it to This is gonna be a serious time. Keep going, Concord, other side of the fence. Spectators are not allowed in here. Nashua South, you need to move. There we go. 1722. In the clock. Okay, ladies, let's go to your house. You may not be in here. That goes all out in here. Conquered right on the other side of the fence, Conquered. Spectators are not allowed in here. Here comes Julie up and over the top. 17.50 on the clock at this point. Corinne just cresting the top. Come on, go, yeah! Come on, Corinne! This one's going to be 18.15, which is also a solid time on this course. Julie in second. Corinne in third. Toll. Also in the finishing straight for four. Didn't she just finish? Yes, they are twins. Eighteen forty-two there. Where did she finish? Must have North. Top runner finishing. Get the first of two, Groton Dunstable. Runners coming through the line now, just over 19 minutes. So while West has two in already, that's the only two they have. So Groton Dunstable are leading at this point. We've got the first Merrimack runner coming through. Concord's Morgan Ar Orcott. Now on the finishing shoot, we got two from Salem coming down. Come on, Concord. Come on, Morgan. Finish. Right through. Stay up, Morgan. Come on. Come on. Walk right through to the end. Merrimack. Second Merrimack, second South battling down the straight. Looks like we've got our third Groton Dunst Bowl. Salem's third is just in front of her. We've got our second from BG in the finishing straight. Just crossed 20 minutes on the clock. Memorial's Morgan Nault coming in. Salem's fourth. Stay up, eyes open. Come on, Morgan, stay up. Hand if you need it. Concord second it. coming in. BG. Two from London there. There's Salem's fifth. Doing the quick map. Looks like Salem's going to win this one. One from Malvern. Another from Concord. Concord and Malvern battling back there. This might be Concord's fifth. Maybe they're fourth, but they have another one in the shoot. Malvern's third. Merrimack looks like they've got two in the finish shoot shoot. We've also got Gurton runner coming down. Concord's got four, three in the finishing stretch right now. North runner coming in, another North runner coming in. So North has at least three in, maybe four. First of all is Brookline. Concord. Here comes another one from Groton Dunstable. That's either their fourth or fifth. Concord has their top seven in, I would think, now. Groton Dunstable definitely will have five across the line with this one, passage of this one. That's South coming in. A couple of London Dairies in the finishing stretch. A couple of BGs. Groton Dunstable, by the way. Yeah, that's right here. 
Right. More Londonderry. Yeah, he's open. Keep moving. Keep moving. You gotta keep going. Concord. All the way to the stand, the girls. Keep going. Dunstable, another Salem. But I, like I said, I think we've already got them. They put in a good pack in the early. Five. Stay in order. Keep moving. Six. Pull. Just yank it. Merrimack coming through. Should be five for them as well. Girton's definitely got five in. This might be the fifth for South. Got a battle coming down the final stretch. Okay, as they finish, as they are in order. Keep moving, ladies, all the way down to the scanner. Good run, Norm. We've got Psycholis like Brookline, Merrimack. Battling it out, Grant Dunstable behind, North, two North Runners coming in. Merrimack South Battle. I got purple, whoa, purple, black. Yep. It's all right, move out, move out. White, maroon, stay in order. Do you water? Huh? What? <laughs> The last few runners make their way down the finishing stretch. This is it for the varsity race. The varsity's boys race coming up next.